as a coach, um, I'm always looking for tools to improve the feel the swimmers have in the water. I use a lot of different exercises, all to get a better feeling for the water, to better get a better position in the water. What I like about the flex pedals is they give you a better feel of the water, even for a short time after you take them off. So this is why I mainly use them to focus on my technique. The drive generated by the hands is responsible for the 70 up to 85% of the entire arm and shoulder action required during a freestyle stroke. For this reason, it is crucial to improve on the way that swimmers use their hands. We have been using the flex pedal to uh, improve the feeling for the water, especially in the catch position. We monitored that with, uh, with video and we definitely see over the year a, a good improvement in that, so I'm really happy with that. In plastic hand pedal, in order to more resistance in the water, a swimmer has to opt for a larger pedal. However, the larger the pedal, the more difficult it is to control arm and shoulder movement beneath the water. If the hand enters the water at the wrong angle using the pedals, it can result in an uncomfortable twist. I tried the flex pedals and I like them really much. Um, you can really feel uh, where you put in your hands and really nice the flow of the water. So I really like it. And of course the color too. <laughs> They don't need to be large as they provide 20% more water resistance than the plastic pedals thanks to the mesh-like material they made from. I think the flex pedal is more of a product for technical development whereas the, uh, the, the normal plastic pedal is more for uh, endurance uh, power or maybe even explosive power. So they, have, uh, they, they work really good together and uh, I, I just love to work uh, with them both.